Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use Magic Light, one of the best AI platforms that can generate videos from text. Um, I've reviewed quite a number of um, AI generating, um, video generating AI tools, but I've not seen anyone like this one because this one can transform your text into captivating AI generated videos. And the best part is they can be very long videos, okay? Long form videos, up to maybe 30 minutes, okay? Most of the video AI generation that I've reviewed are mostly one minute or 30 seconds. But this one, I've not seen one like this that can give you up to 30 minutes uh, long form videos, right? So you can check and see the preview of what they have created and what they have for you to just have an idea into what they do. But then to start, let's start with accessing it. You can access it by coming to magiclight.ai and to bring you over here, you can start for free. And even the paid version is very, very, relatively very cheap compared to the content that you're creating. Now you have to sign up if you don't have an account, of course. If you have, you can log in with your email and password, or you can log in with your Google if you have any, or you can just go ahead and log in with your Discord if you have a Discord account. For this tutorial, I'm going to log in with my Google account, one of my Google accounts. Now, once you log in, you'll be prompted to give what best describes your profession. Let's say I'm an influencer, and you can go ahead and click on next. How do you want to use Magic Light, maybe to have AI dynamic videos? And then we can say next to this, this is just to enable them prepare the kind of uh, profile you're going to have. Okay, let's say animated videos or story driven narratives, which is also good uh, for mostly YouTube and TikTok, uh, for example. Let's say submit this and then you'll be brought in over here. Now, this is these are samples of creations by people. These are creations by other people. If you want to have an idea into what created them, for example, the prompt and what kind of videos they've created, you can click on any of them to have a preview. Now, once you are in the platform, you can notice that you have two things. You can create a video directly from inputted text, or you can create an AI avatar or character directly from here. Now we can start with anyone. And over here, you have the same option. You can join their Discord group to be able to have, um, to see what they do and how they do it. And for a start, for a free trial, you have the access to use up to 300 credits. And if you want to subscribe, you can relatively see the subscription. It's very, very cheap. And you can see it's billed monthly. You could just have to pay $10 and you have access to uh, about 5,000 credits per month, which is relatively very, very interesting because you see how cheap it is to use just the 300 credits to generate long form videos. Now let's start with something very simple. For example, let's start with generating AI character and you can just click on this. Now once you're here, you can give the AI character a name. For example, this one, I'm going to call it Boo and then just specify um, is it a male, the category, is it a human or anthro? Let's say we have human and anthro, and then you can give these other descriptions. Is it a child, a teenager, a youth, or middle age? You can just um, give any. So it's, let's say it's a child, and uh, let's say it's a male, and not, an, not a human. You can select the style, the character style, what kind of style do you want? And then down here, you have to give the kind of prompt that is going to generate uh, for example, such as hairstyle, skin tone, and every other detail that you think can be helpful, you have to give it down here. And then down here, you have to upload a photo. If you have, this is very optional. If you have a face of what you want to create, you can upload it to serve as a guide uh, during the creation or the clothing. You can add all this if you have, uh, if you have them separate. But if you don't have, these are just optional things that you can use. So let's say I have this description, a majestic snowy owl wearing a tiny gold trimmed wizard, wizard's hat uh, and a glowing amulet uh, patched on a mystical staff surrounded by floating magical runes in a moonlight uh, forest. Okay, so we can just go ahead and click on generate on this and let's just give you some seconds and let's see the kind of character this is going to generate for us now as you can see this is a preview of what the character has generated and all with the description every detail that you have 
Now, if you want, you can go ahead and edit this. If you can, you want to edit it, or you can apply this if this is exactly what you are looking for. For my own case, this is what I'm looking for. So I'm just go ahead and, and 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 apply this, and then I have it as my own creation. So you can see it over here. Okay. So this is what we have created. You can see this is the description. And if you want, you can do many things to it. You can edit the profile. You can delete the character if you want. Uh, this is the character that you've just created. If you want the introduction, you can see the, the details of the uh, about what kind of character this is. So you can create as many characters as you want. And you can create videos also from the same character. So let me show another example of another character that I've created. So let me create another character this time around. I call it um, human01. And then let's say this is uh, male. And let's say this is human. And then let's say just a youth. Okay, youth. And then we can select any of the um, style. Let's go with something like this. And then we can give the prompt down here. A young ethereal archer with glowing emerald eyes wearing a flowing cloth made of slimmering silver leaves. This is the character that it has generated for me. All right, so I think I like this. So we can go ahead and click on apply, make this available to the public. And right now you can see we have another character generated for us. So this is the second way to kind of create the character using the same process. Now let's try to create a video from this. So let's go back here, click on create videos. And then this is where you can import, this is where you can paste in your details of the video, what kind of video you're trying to create. You can do, use my content. If you have a, if you have a content, maybe a story, a story script you can paste it here if you want to use your content or if you want to generate from the prompt or from the ai tool to generate by just providing some few details about the storyline it's going to do the whole magic and generate the entire thing for you so for this one let's say i'm going to have i have this prompt two curious humans stumble into a magical forest where animals can talk and this is the story, uh, the snippets of the story, but this is going to surprisingly going to give you the entire story and the details of it. Now you can, you have the option to check out the sample ideas down here. Uh, these are sample ideas that you can be able to use if you want to use any of them. And then over here, this is where you define the aspect ratio, the landscape, or you want it portrait 19 by 9 by 16 or 3 by 4, you can define from here can select the language of the video let's keep it as english and then you can select this styling let's keep this as this um, realistic 3.0 is the model and then over here uh, you can go ahead and click on generate now you have to take note that there are four different steps to this you have the content generation where you just giving your prompt and then you have the casting where we're going to give you the story cast, just like the snippets of the different sections of the story. And then you're going to have the storyboard in detail of what it has generated, including the media. And then this way you, you can preview everything and then have the story generated. Now, once you click on generate over here, it's going to generate the story uh, cast. It's going to take you to the next level, which is the story cast. And this is the story cast. Now, when you look at it, you can see the story from the beginning. You can just take a look um, at what you have. If you want to add anything, all you need is just to click in it and just add to go ahead and add whatever you want to add or you want to remove anything you can remove or you want to move them up or down. You can move up or down. If you want to change the position of this, you can move it, of course, up or down. If you, if you want to uh, change the position, it's very, very easy to do that. And then if you are okay with this or at any given point, if you don't want a particular section, you can delete it. If you don't want a particular cast, of course, you can delete that particular uh, cast and you can see it's gone. All right. So if you have anything and you've read everything and you are okay and satisfied with what you have, you can always go back to the edit. If it is what you would like, you are okay with this, you can just go ahead and say next. You can see how many credit, how much credit it's going to take from you. Once you click on next, it's going to go in and generate the preview. All right, it is going to bring you over here. Now you have the option. This one detects two characters, this Elara and Ben. These are the two characters it has generated. This is auto detect 
from the story it has given, from the cast it has given. Now you have you have the option to add more characters if you want to add more. But for this, I just want to keep it um, uh, at de uh, at default. I want to go with the auto cast. What it has de de detected, let it give me the story based on that. So let's go on to the auto cast. We select auto cast, and it's now going to go straight. Now these are the two casts. These um, characters that it has uh, detected so let's go on and say next now it is generating the storyboarding okay so we just give it some seconds to finish the storyboarding and then from there we are now going to generate the entire video now this is the storyboarding um over here you can see you can manage the voiceover speed over here and then the uh, the voiceover reader you can see different readers you can preview any one of them but then we can keep everything at default we can keep theme and then the music, the background music, we can keep it at default as well. And this is the volume. I usually go back to like uh, 40. All right. And then we can go ahead and check the preview of the different uh, steps or the, the, the storyboarding. Okay. Each of the board, you can see the storyline as well as the content. You can copy the content and you can edit the content also from here if you want to edit. You can check out all of them. You can see them. Okay. As you move, you can see the preview. It's a complete story and it's very, very interesting. So once you check through, you can change the prompt also from here. Uh, you can edit the storyboarding. These are the two characters. You can edit the characters if you're interested. And then if everything is okay, you can go ahead and say regenerate if you don't want something like this. Uh, each of these slides, if you don't want any of them, you can of course regenerate. This is the amount of tokens it's going to cost you. And if everything is okay, you checked everything and you're very much certain with what you have. The story is going to be exactly as, as you want. Uh, you don't want to edit anything. You can just go ahead over here and say generate the video. And this is going to ask you to specify the ratio. It is 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. Basically, we're going to return our 16 by 9 and then subtitle uh, show subtitle or hide subtitle you can show this if you want or you can hide for this i want to show the subtitle and then we can say okay to this and then just give you some seconds and our video will be created the work the culinary competition has been generated you can now download your work after successful submission so you can preview this if you want to preview and then we can see what it has um, created for us so you can cl click on this all right, so you have the option to download your video directly. Um, you can download all images, 24 photos, or you can download the video and then you can publish it. Or if you like, you can go back and do some basic editings within this. So let me download this and then I'm going to, so let me download the video and I'm going to play it at the end of this. So please go ahead and explore it and try it. You can click the link in the description to have access to this magic light uh, AI tool, go ahead and generate your own videos. Try and see how much of your content you can create using this very platform. So sincerely, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Ilara and Ben, two adventurous siblings, stumbled upon a shimmering portal hidden deep within the woods. Intrigued, they stepped through, finding themselves in a forest unlike any they'd ever seen. The air hummed with an unseen energy. Suddenly, a sassy raccoon, sporting oversized sunglasses, emerged from behind a giant oak tree. Hey, he squawked. This is my patch of berries. A grumpy turtle, shell covered in moss, lumbered into view. Don't be ridiculous, he grumbled. These berries are clearly superior to your measly nuts. A tiny bird, surprisingly wearing a miniature chef's hat, chirped. Order, order. This is a culinary competition, not a brawl. A squirrel, perched on a branch, yelled, Go, Rocky! While a family of rabbits cheered for Sheldon the turtle, the competition began. Rocky the raccoon presented a dazzling array of nuts, meticulously arranged on a bed of leaves. Sheldon countered with a selection of berries, plump and juicy, glistening in the dappled sunlight. The bird, a surprisingly skilled judge, hopped between the two, tasting each offering with great care. The animals watched with bated breath. Finally, the bird announced, A tie. Both are exquisite. Rocky and Sheldon, initially surprised, exchanged a hesitant smile. The forest erupted in cheers. Alara and Ben, speechless, watched the unlikely
family friends share snacks. The experience solidified their belief in the magic of unexpected friendships and the joy of tasty treats. As they prepared to leave, they promised to return, eager for more forest adventures and delicious snacks. They stepped back through the shimmering portal, the memory of the talking animals and their culinary competition forever etched in their minds. The ordinary forest seemed strangely dull in comparison.